If you currently stream directly from your console to Twitch and you want to go ahead and increase the amount of views that you receive, then you should consider streaming to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Now, I know that you stream directly from your console. So to be able to do this, you're not going to need a capture card. You're not going to need any additional equipment. Everything that you already have, you're going to be able to use. And that's what I'm going to show you here today. So before we dive into the video, this video is brought to you by Own.TV. Own is the go to spot to get premium overlays for your stream. If you want to make your stream look professional, they're the ones that you want to go to. All of their overlay packages include panels, alerts, banners, emotes. There's just an endless amount of things you can get to make your stream look professional. So go ahead and grab a design today using the link in the description below. Not only does it help support the channel, but by using the link, you'll also receive 50% off by entering the code LAS Curry at checkout. So to follow along with this video, you're going to need an Xbox, a Twitch account, a YouTube channel and a laptop. As you're creating your accounts and gathering everything you need to follow along, if this is the first time you're catching one of my videos, you'll quickly see that my goal is to help you succeed. Each week I create new videos educating you on the right mindset, motivation, and methods to grow your stream. So now that you go ahead and got everything that you need, let's go ahead and get you set up to stream to both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Alright, so here we are inside of my money making machine and the very first step to get everything set up is coming to Aircast. I went ahead and put a link in the description for you to easily access it. So you want to access this from your laptop. Once again, you can do this from your mobile. It is a little bit more challenging and it may require a separate video. So that's why I encourage you to do this from your laptop to get everything set up. So once you're here on Aircast, you want to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and select sign up. Once you sign up, it's going to go ahead and bring you over to the Aircast dashboard. And what we simply want to do right now as a very first step is link your Twitch account to Aircast. So select stream with Twitch. This is going to go ahead and prompt you to go ahead and authorize. If you're not logged into your Twitch account, it's going to prompt you to log in. And once you do, you can then go ahead and authorize Aircast to access your account. Once you have it linked up together, you want to select auto start when your stream goes live. This is going to make it real easy for that when you go live on your Xbox to Twitch, it's going to prompt Aircast to go live on YouTube. So it makes it really easy for you. So once you've completed this first step, you're ready to move on to the next one. All right. So the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and link our YouTube account over to Aircast. So once you're logged into your YouTube channel, you want to come to the top right hand side and you want to select create. You want to select go live. And if you've never accessed the YouTube live platform before, you will be prompted with if you want to create a stream for now or for a later date. So you want to select right now. Once you do that, you want to select streaming software, select OK, and you're going to see this dashboard screen here. Now, some of the things you want to quickly do inside of YouTube to allow your video to be found by more people is that you want to come to the edit side, and this is where you're able to go ahead and change your title. You can go ahead and add descriptions. A great place for description is to put links, a little bit about what your stream is about, maybe your donation links, everything you would do for your Twitch in your about section. That's something you can put inside of your description. You want to leave the visibility to public. The category, you want to make sure you select gaming you can put the game title it's very beneficial it does help so if you know the game you're going to be playing go ahead and put the game title there a thumbnail it's very important and if you haven't seen how to create gaming youtube thumbnails for your channel i'll go ahead and put a card up here at the top where i made a video a few weeks ago showcasing you how to do that completely for free so you can go ahead and check that out if you want to learn how to make thumbnails then the playlist you can leave that blank or if you have one you can add it you want to make sure that you make sure that this is not made for kids especially if your content is not there, paid promotion, you can add tags and just simply go through this list of information here. But most of it is already preset for you and you can leave it as is. Then you have your live chat section here on the left hand side. You want to go ahead and enable live chat if you want people to be able to engage with your stream directly through YouTube. And then if you want people to be able to see the live chat on a replay, you can toggle that there. And if your YouTube channel is in the partner program, then you're able to go ahead and turn on monetization to be able to start earning some revenue from the people that are watching your stream just as you do on Twitch. Then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and select save. And now the very most important aspect that we're looking for here on YouTube, it's going to be your stream key. Now here it's going to be hidden and that's very important because you don't want to share your stream key with anyone because with access to that information, they're able to stream under your account. So what we simply want to do here is we want to go ahead and make sure that we select a low 
latency on the stream latency and then we want to go ahead and enable dvr and then go ahead and select copy stream key so once you go ahead and copy your stream key you want to go ahead and come back to aircast and follow the next steps all right so next we're going to go ahead and connect youtube to aircast utilizing that stream key that we just went ahead and copied so back inside of your dashboard you want to select add stream output you want to select youtube and now for the name you've already selected the name inside of youtube itself or inside of your xbox but however you can go ahead and change the name here as well i'm going to leave it as youtube stream one and then you simply want to go ahead and paste your stream key that we just copied into aircast and then you simply want to go ahead and toggle auto start now what we have simply done here is let aircast know that when i go live on my xbox to twitch automatically triggered on aircast to show me to go live on youtube now if your title is not going to change your description the game and everything that you're doing is not going to change you can just leave it as is otherwise every time you go live you want to make sure that the settings are right on youtube and they're right inside of aircast and then once you've gone ahead and done that go ahead and hit close and you're pretty much good to go and ready to go live all right and the final step inside of the process is to go to your console access the twitch app and then you want to come to the top and you want to select broadcast and then you simply want to go ahead and start streaming just as you normally would now if you've never streamed to twitch i did go ahead and make a video showcasing you how to stream to twitch directly from your xbox and the best settings to be able to use so i'll go ahead and put that in the cards above so you can have access to that now once you go ahead and select start streaming that's pretty much it we've selected auto start inside of aircast and inside of youtube to be able to go live automatically so once you hit go live you'll be live on both twitch and youtube and there you go you've now opened up your stream to be found by new viewers which is essential if you've been struggling with getting views i went ahead and did a lesson about two weeks ago talking about how to attract viewers to your stream instead of pushing them away so i highly recommend you check that out if it's something you've been struggling with i'll see you guys in the next video and always remember gratitude is the attitude love you guys